When we started this project, we really started to start to think about what is Nobu, who is Nobu, and why Nobu in Toronto. One thing about our brand, one thing about us as a design firm is we hate to be formula. Nobu himself is not formula. He takes Japanese food and he just blows it up. He makes it exciting. And I wanted the same thing for this project. It's, for me, it was sort of took the approach like, if I could think of the interiors like he was creating a dish, it would be a beautiful moment. There was an idea here where residential owners would be able to own a piece of this iconic brand. We have a spectacular piece of architecture. We have a developer that's bringing something into this city that the city's never seen before. We have a brand that's on board to doing something that is international but yet local to Toronto. All of these things combined gets the end user, the residential buyer, the investor excited in something. We have these two towers facing each other. There are residences that are going to be here. We want these residences to stay excited about what they bought. You're going to have city views. You're going to have lake views. There are all kinds of views happening here. However, when you look down, we wanted people to see something special. So we came up with this crazy idea of putting a hole in this podium. And this hole penetrates through the slab into a reflecting pond. And on the bottom of that opens up to this gym. It's so symmetrical and so tight in its planning that all of the equipment surrounds this beautiful internal volume of space. All that I'm describing is what I like to sort of describe as an emotional feeling. We want our hotel guests, our residences, and those coming to the restaurant to feel an emotion a connection and that's very difficult to do in design and that's why we tend to look at design as a journey rather than just picking finishes and space planning I mean that is a component to it how do you do something different